Abercrombie and Fitch under fire after refusing to offer larger sizes and controversial remarks made by their CEO. The company has now apologized and even met with some teens. ABC's Rebecca Jarvis is back again and has more in this story. Hey again, Rebecca. Hello again, Robin. The saga is blowing up online and across the country, and now the controversial company has money problems. It's stock tanking 10% after its latest earnings announcement. The viral backlash against Abercrombie and Fitch, its sizing policies, and now infamous CEO just won't quit. Congratulations, Mike Jeffries. You excited a whole lot of people over this controversy. From YouTube videos. Don't fat people spend money as well? To boycotts. Not only will I not let my kids shop at Abercrombie again, I will not let them wear what they already have in their closets. Even this Jimmy Kimmel sketch. Abercrombie CEO says that he does not make clothes for fat people. But that doesn't mean that fat people can't wear Abercrombie and Fitch clothes. I feel fantastic, and I'm going to wear this shirt everywhere. The public outcry still escalating a month after we first reported the retailer doesn't carry women's sizes above a large, and the CEO only wants cool kids in his clothes. Once telling Salon Magazine, a lot of people don't belong in our clothes, and they can't belong. Are we exclusionary? Absolutely. The company finally responding last week to protesters, meeting with the organizers of this Chicago rally. These kids are serious. They have had enough. I'm cautiously optimistic, but I think that if we continue an open dialogue with Abercrombie and Fitch, we can really make some real change in their business and in businesses across the world. Abercrombie issuing this statement. We look forward to continuing this dialogue and taking concrete steps to demonstrate our commitment to anti-bullying and support of diversity and inclusion. The company also apologized for past comments. I honestly believe that we will hear from them and that there will be a next step. Uh, I'll be highly disappointed uh, if there isn't. And if there isn't, we'll take action. Not against them, but if, if nothing changes and if another comment comes out from Mike Jeffries similar to the one he made before, that, that's not okay. But for some, like blogger Jess Baker, creator of this faux Abercrombie campaign, it's too little too late. Your apology doesn't change this, she writes. I know something's going to happen because we made it very clear to Abercrombie we won't stop until it does. And sources at Abercrombie tell me the company expects to make an announcement next week with more details on how they'll support anti-bullying. But this PR nightmare is just the tip of the iceberg for Abercrombie's problems. The trendy retailer announced Friday that its U.S. sales fell 17 percent in the first quarter. And those are declines that actually started before the controversy erupted. Money, that dollar sign is what drives decisions. Mm -hmm. And if they see an impact, it will change things there. Yeah, and consumers have a voice. Yeah. They really have. Have a Vote voice. with your dollars. That's, That's right. right. Thank you there, yep. Rebecca. Thanks.